my birthday girl. <laughs> he feeling. And another gift. What is this? Uh, <laughs> card. We'll have, we'll have a laugh about it. Okay. <laughs> so you ain't mad that I'm only getting your arms in the video? Oh, no, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Hey guys, it's Jen and I'm back again and today we are at Snooze. Um, in order to order their vegan plate, you want to get the three egg scramble and get the tofu scramble instead of the egg scramble. The hash browns um, will come with it as well as a side of toast. I normally enhance mine with some veggies like the spinach, mushrooms, tomatoes, peppers, onions, um, and then I'll get a side of pico. Joe will sometimes get their sorbizo because that's one of their faux meats. Um, but it's also really really good you do have to add some salt and pepper but in terms of like how they cook the tofu they always cook it thoroughly it's never wet or soggy um and i tend to enjoy it <clears throat> joe got their vegan bliss pancakes and he enjoyed those too um and that's their hash browns and all that good stuff so i recommend their breakfast if you're in charlotte their food is also very affordable i believe we paid about 58 bucks for this plate um, and it is my birthday this vlog so join me as I um, spend time with my hubby and just enjoy the city So for my birthday, Joe treated me to a spa day at the Ritz Carlton. Um, it was very, very fun. They have a pool, they have a sauna, they have a um, salt room and all of that cool stuff. So you guys will get to see and get a sneak peek into how the Ritz Carlton spa is set up. I hope you guys enjoy this footage. Um, we also went to the Valentine Hotel prior to coming here and I could not help but compare the two. So there will be a comparison video coming out shortly in between the Ritz Carlton Spa and the Valentine Spa. Both are very um, luxurious spas in Charlotte or well-known spas in Charlotte. So I think a comparison video would do well for us vegans to see um, how we fare out and just how the treatment is overall. But enjoy the footage.
right birthday girl. How you feeling? about this but every time I have a birthday I think of her because I'm older than she was when she passed away so um I'm grateful to be alive and to just have so many wonderful people in my life that love me and that care for me and support me and want to see me grow um um, that's all and thank you to everyone for your well wishes on my birthday and even if you was busy and didn't get a chance to do it and you're gonna do it tomorrow or the day after or the week after thank you very much so I ended my spa day taking a shower in the 16 head shower it was so luxurious it was so many directions of the water flowing and falling it was super duper cool um, and that was one of the coolest features that they had um, at the Ritz uh, Carlton but we really enjoyed our time like I said there will be a comparison video coming out um, comparing the Ritz Carlton spa to the Valentine spa and how we enjoyed their services and treatments um, but then we finished out and now we're headed to dinner at Jinya Ramen Bar what, recorded? 
we are at Jenya now. Jenya Ramen Bar. So we are about to get a happy hour. And then after that, food. Okay, now first, let me start off by saying I love Jenya Ramen Bar. Um, second, let me start off by saying they have two locations. I recommend going to the Uptown location. For some reason, their customer service is better than South Park and their quality of food is better. I ordered um, this same exact salad. These drinks are delicious. This one is a vegan, a virgin drink. This has no alcohol. That's Joe's. Uh, but I ordered this salad from the one in South Park and the lettuce was a very poor quality I could barely even finish my salad um, But it's always on point when I come here their tacos are always on point when I come here the one in South Park Sometimes they'll give you the beef tacos or the vegan tacos and the meat won't even be ground up um, So it's no shade they give you the same exact food, but it's just the quality and the service of food here is 10 times better um so if you guys ever do decide to come to jenya ramen bar please come to the one uptown all right we are leaving jenya ramen bar we didn't even get ramen no. i was so full what off of the, the appetizers what first time you've ever just come gone not got, got ramen, ramen. Yeah. yeah but every other time i get everything we ate in the ramen yeah we tore some apps up though. We got edamame, which came last instead of first, which was odd. The salad came first. My salad came first though. Jinya has the best salad dressing. They need to just market and sell that that quinoa salad dressing. So good. Um, then we had the impossible tacos. Then we had the edamame. Then the gyozas. Um, so we ate so much. <coughs> so much good stuff. Um, now we're done and we're headed back home to chill for a little bit joe is gonna walk bossy poo um i'm going to change into some warmer clothes and then we're gonna go over to my mama's house and my daddy's house and we're going to sing happy birthday to you so, happy birthday with cinnamon rolls <laughs> instead of cake because I hate birthday cake, which is odd to me, but I do not like birthday cake. I, I, I don't like store-bought cake. I like homemade cake. So if anything, I'd probably end up making my own birthday cake mm -hmm. all the time. Um, this year, I didn't even make Joe's cake. He had bread pudding <laughs> for his birthday. And it wasn't even on his birthday. It was on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, it is. Okay. That's, that's a, uh, new but um yeah um so we're headed home now but i had a really good day i'm very grateful and very emotional i don't know why i'm like this emotional about being in my th <laughs> my 30s you're fine <laughs> um i don't know why i feel like so emotional about being in my 30s but it's not going to end. Like, I'm going to have an emotional 40s, too. I just, I, I will say, in this age, you become comfortable with who you are, hey, and you hey, just don't care. Seven. That's my day, um, or my month. I got to get my VU Valentine planned by the end of Christmas, so we can start kicking out Christmas sales and hopefully sell out. Okay, but I got to go. Our ride's coming. We are back home now. Um, we went to my mom's house, sung happy birthday. Did not get footage of it. I forgot. Um, but I am going to eat my Cineholic tomorrow for breakfast. So I will show you guys that. Because my sister got me and Joe Cineholic mm -hmm. for our birthdays. So um, I'm going to eat that tomorrow. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. But Joe already ate his. He tore his up. <laughs> um, so now we're going to watch a 90s movie or an early 2000s movie. Because um, I'm feeling like in that realm of movie decade genre, I guess. Um, and then I'm going to fall asleep to it. I'm pretty sure. So 
that's the goal to watch a movie till I fall asleep and then get told hey babe come on the bed's warm and get in the bed my nice warm bed <laughs> All right, y'all, that's me being silly, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be blessed, remain stress-free, have a wonderful, wonderful year, wonderful week. Oh, wonderful month, wonderful week, wonderful year. <laughs> and I will see you all in my next video. Be blessed, remain stress-free. Bye, guys.